Okay, I guess I'll be back because my game froze when we found the last one. How nice. Gotta love that, guys. I'll be back. Hey everybody, Nestle just got coming to you guys with part 18 of Spiral Heroes Tale for the Sony PlayStation 2. In the last episode, we made it here to the Blink the Mole level, which, by the way, is very unforgiving and not at all fun. So, we also got another section over here. Luckily for us, though, these moles will only seem to take one hit no matter who you're playing, so that's a thing. And Ice Physics, let's see. Ice Physics do exist as Blink. Oh, and that is a breakable door, which is one of the shards that we need. Die, bug! Stupid bug! I also don't like that they don't drop gems, it seems kind of cheesy, but there we go, there's our second one already. C c beats the last episode where we only got to the first one, like it was... Well, I got stuck in a rock. That's fun. Oh. Man, the camera angles under here are just terrible. Whoa. Barrels? Is Donkey Kong here or something, man? Like, what the heck is that? Oh, it's Yeti misses. Yeti misses. Oh, wait. I can also destroy them. Why would I do that? There we go. Also, why would I need more bombs? I guess I technically do, but... Alright, let's just Donkey Kong it up, I guess. Old school Donkey Kong, too. Not like Donkey Kong from Donkey Kong Country or anything like that. Alright, there's that one done. That's now three out of five. That's excellent. Hmm. Back to the beginning of the level. Lame, but I seen that coming. So now we just need to go the other way that we didn't go beforehand. And then we should be good. There's nothing else we can do down here, it seems. Oh, you know what? Maybe that one spot that I was thinking could be something there. Oh, wait, no. It's just this zone. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm an idiot. Let's just die. I need a drink anyway. Wait, is it the bomb platforms that are, uh... Respawn points in this, not the gems. That's lame. But we were back at this section anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Alrighty here. Da, 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 da. I think what makes him annoying to play as is his um delay. Also, he always looks at the enemies. Like, if you pay attention, he'll look at the enemies. Alright, he's dead. Perfect. We don't need to go over there because these are just gems, and gems in a blink section aren't at all necessary. Alright, good. Excuse me, Mr. Click Clack. God, their sound effects are kind of creepy. Can I just avoid those guys over there, like, if I really wanted to? Because that would be nice. I, like, I don't even know if I need to go over there. That's the thing. Like, Oh, God. Wait, is that the bug right there? Oh, it is the bug right there. Like I said, I don't know if I technically need to go over there, so we'll go over there anyway. And we'll see if there's anything over here. Don't 
There is a pathway, so it does look like it could potentially be something. That's not a pathway at all. I got trolled. I think you can just, like, as long as you walk along the edges, I don't think these weird sharded bug things can really do anything to you. Now my TV turned off. I'm so confused with what it's doing. I didn't touch the remote earlier. Yeah, I've recorded these last three episodes in a row. Has it been three episodes or is it four episodes now? I don't know how many I've actually recorded. Alright, now remember, don't take the same hole again. Oh yeah, because there's all that stuff up there still. We have to go back this way. I think it takes two punches while it takes three shots with the laser, which seems weird, but I guess because they want to nerf like ranged weapons so they're not overpowered or anything. Alright, so it looks like we have to go this way. So we'll... Was that really a long throw there, Blink? Like, come on, man. Whoa. Wait, do I even need these? Oh, well, maybe. Maybe to get up there. Not these gems, per se. But up here. Wait, don't tell me this is a dead end. This is a dead end? Are you serious? This is just straight up for all these gems over here. And this isn't even a lot of gems. There wasn't even a gold one or a purple one. Alright. I guess we'll just... Can Wait a minute, how did I miss this dark gem that was literally right here? Okay, and we already went that way, so then where are the last of the, uh... Those night guys... Or night guys, skeleton guys are weird. I love their sound effect when they die, though. I wonder if any of these enemies are going to progress over into the next uh, part of the game. No, I was going to hit once on this section. Okay, and we know for a fact that this brings us back to the beginning of the level. So wait, then where's the last of the gem? I'm so confused. I guess we'll have to go back and look around. Definitely not this section of the level. And that was just dumb of me. Like I knew he was gonna throw it there, and I still did it anyway. And I can't get up there because this is where a Yeti stands. Hmm. Are you sure there's not one on the ice blink? At least we can get health here. Yeah, there's nothing up here, right? Like, I didn't miss anything going this way. I think this way was just gems. Like, if there was, like, a diggable tunnel or something, then that would make perfect sense. But I don't think there's that. Like, I really just straight up think that this is just a dead end for whatever reason. It's, like, literally just a dead end. Huh, I have no idea where the last gem would be. Bum, 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 Okay, that was annoying, to say the least. I guess we'll go back this way. Because there wasn't one in this climbing section, and that's what baffles me, is why they wouldn't have put one around here. You know, like, why is there nothing here? And we know for a fact that there was nothing over there. Pardon me, Mr. Bug. Yeah, there was just a diggy spot there. Doesn't look like we missed anything over there either. Man. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do the second part of this in this episode. I think... Did it start me over? Oh, I know it didn't. Okay. 
I think what I'm gonna do, though, is I think I'm just gonna go back to the beginning and look around there, because... I'm not finding anything else to this section. Like, there's no holes to dig through, nothing like that. And, yeah, I don't want to be in this level all day, man. This level is not fun. Like, I said, the Blink levels are kind of... They could have been better. They had a cool concept behind it, but they made them really just terrible. Unless the game just forgot to spawn in something. Because this is the end, clearly. And there's, like, a good third of this level that has nothing, like, around here. So there's got to be something around here, right? Because there's the way we need to go. Like the the tunnel or the slide. Unless it's down the slide, maybe. Do I have any control in the slide? No, I I don't. It's just a slide. But then there's like this. Wait a minute. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. There's just this zone over here. And there's the last one. Oh my god, I'm just an idiot. Actually, you know what? Maybe we will do the next one in this one. Because I'm an idiot and didn't even notice that. Okay. I guess I'll be back because my game froze when we found the last one. How nice. Gotta love that, guys. I'll be back. Alright, so we're back, and that zone just keeps freezing on me for whatever reason, so I think we're just gonna go in here where we needed all the dark gems, and hopefully make it to the next world, because I honestly don't remember anything about this section of the game. All I know is we do get a cool power after this that's actually useful, so that's something I'm looking forward to. Ooh, the weird music there. At least we got a thumbnail now. I cannot believe this. How did you make it this far? No matter. I will deal with you now. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but alas, you have forced my hand. Am I supposed to be scared of you? I've spoken to the elders, and from what I can make out, you're just a traitorous coward. Ah. Well then. Prepare, young dragon, to be taught a lesson. Or two. All right, so he uses the power of ice. Oh, he's using a dark gem. Wait. Oh, that does actually hurt you. Oh my god, how am I supposed to deal with this? Oh my god, he just keeps hitting me. Like, how do I know when he's gonna shoot out too? Why does he summon red TNT boxes? I think he can actually get multiple... Luferigno! Oh, I'm dead. I love how he cheers. I think it's every three, and then, yeah, he should split it now, right? Yeah. So it's one, two, three, and then he'll split it, so just look directly at him. And now he should summon... Oh, so that hurt me instead? Okay. Wait, the spikes also hurt you? Well, that's concerning. And now here come that one. All right. At least now I know his pattern. See, the whole point, like even Spyro makes it up. Like he's gotta like figure it out a few times, you know. There. And now we should go on to the next phase. So now if we die, we're fine. Oh yes, Spyro, you fight well. You remind me of me when I was your age. I just hope I fight better than you when I'm your age. It. 
Oh, I was not expecting him to do the ice thing. Oh, wait, is it going to be every second one now? Well, that's concerning. So now it's going to be that one. And then it's going to be this one. Wait, three? How am I supposed to dodge three? Oh. Ooh. And I died because I'm an idiot. Those detonate really fast. Alright, so these are easy. Same with the um, the debris that he causes to fall from the ceiling. And then if you get too close, he does... Mm, that was on me. I'm an idiot. Now it'll be the three. Nope, nope. Now it'll be the three. Nope, now it'll be the three. Now it'll be the three? Wait, what happened to the three? Of course there's the three. Oh my god, like, it's so untelegraphable, man. Alright, can you just summon the bombs? Now. Wait, am I even supposed to move? I don't know if I'm supposed to move. Wait, are you serious? What? Oh my god, this isn't even the final boss. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna die because I'm an idiot. Death. Alright. I didn't even slide into that one. But okay. Yeah, I was definitely over moving. Well, that's a bummer. And now it feels like if you screw up, it'll be, um, detrimental to your victory or not. And now it should be the three. Now back to the two, and then the one, that was the three again, and then the two, and then the boxes, okay. Wait, is he not gonna, oh yeah, he's gonna blow it up now. Wait, did he summon a fifth one there? That'll be the one. I think he only does the one once, right? Because now it'll be three. Oh, never mind. Now it'll be the three. Yeah, see, I was just... I was just overthinking his complexity with his attacks. The bomb part, though, is now becoming annoying. Because, like, I think you only get literally... Oh, never mind. There we go. Yeah, we don't have time to do that. I think you only have time to get one now. Also, I took damage on literally the dumbest part of the fight. Wait, or did I even take damage from that? I don't even know if I did. Wait, that was a two. And now it'll be a two again, and then it'll be a one again. And then I think it's the three. Oh, sorry, now it's the three. Ah, that wasn't that was dumb of me. Alright. No, I screwed up! I'm an idiot again! Why do I keep doing that? No, no, I keep taking dumb damage. We're gonna fail this fight again. I don't have the patience or the time of day for this. This is just brutally annoying. What? My controller did the stupid 360 thing it likes to do. No, not now, controller. Sheesh, man, that's just getting annoying. Okay, there we go. 
Now if we die, it's not going to be that big of a deal. Well, well, well. You do have a lot of fire in you, but don't think you're any match against my infinite power. All right, now he's got a fireball that didn't really do anything. All right, what's he doing? He seems to line up with you now. Wait, the platform's shrinking, the platform's shrinking, the platform's shrinking. What is going on here? Oh, he's making it grow back. Okay. Seems kind of counterproductive, but sure. Does he just have- he literally has every breath I- except for water. Oh wait, that doesn't actually hurt you, never mind. Oh, and I see. What he's gonna do is this is gonna shrink. And... And then he's gonna activate his stab, and then you wanna go in the complete opposite direction of him. And I think the closer you are to him, the better chance you have of not being hit by the ice breath frost thing. Ow. Oh god, they're back again. Alright, this one's not too bad. Now what's he gonna do? Wait! Does he literally do every attack again? Oh god. Bombs, please. Bombs, please. Come on, game. Oh, Alright, yeah, I'm just gonna die. I don't know why I died. Yeah, you only get one butterfly per zone, by the way. Or per segment of the fight. This is brutal. Like, this is just straight up brutal, man. Because there's so much to each segment of the fight that... Oh, wait, no, there's two butterflies. So you get one per phase, I'm assuming. And then... Like, how are you supposed to telegraph that hit? Alright, this one's not bad. Because for some reason the hitbox on them is actually very generous, at least in this stage. And then he'll do this one, which somehow I managed to get hit by. I think what makes it annoying now is it's icy. Are you serious? He insta-kills you? Oh, that is just... This game, man, I swear. Oh my lordy dordy. That time we actually hit him, but then he tail swiped us and killed us, so... Fun. And then he'll, like, instantly spin around. Oh, luckily, he himself doesn't hurt you. Also, this is, like, the first time you actually ever fight one of the dragons as an enemy. At least the longer segment here is the easy one to deal with. I'll take that over any other section of this. Can I just have that? Like, over and over, please? Ay, ay, ay. Okay, we got him. And then he'll instantly destroy that one. Oh, now he's gonna do the exact same thing again, so I'm gonna go and grab the health over here. Or not, because we can't actually get to the health now. Alright, I thought he was gonna decide to 360 around the other way, but that's not how it works. Uh-oh. Oh, come off a game. Oh, 
Oh, I think you're. What? The fact that Spyro has no invincibility frames in this game really likes to screw the pooch. Good game design. Especially when you have spam attacks in this game. Like, holy be Jesus, man. And now I gotta do this. I don't think we can charge. No, do not charge. Do not charge. Do not charge. Repeat, do not charge at anything. It just completely stops you. Like, how are you supposed to, like, telegraph that first hit that you take there? Like, this one's fine. Whatever. But after that, or, like, the first one is just, like, the worst part about this entire boss... This, like, phase of the boss fight. Like, honest to god, the worst part is literally just that one section. That and the bombs being on ice are a little bit, uh... You know, annoying, but whatever. This should be the last one, right? Yes, it is. Oh, I could have got the second hit there, but whatever. And now we're going to have to do this section again, which is annoying because he's kind of Speedy Gonzalez here. Okay. If I'm quiet, it's because I'm concentrating and don't want to die. Alright, get ready. Why is it so fast? What? Oh wait, the butterfly's over there. Thank you. Oh, thank god I got that butterfly at the last possible moment. Ugh. Man, and this, like I said, this isn't the final fight. There's Red 2.0 in this game. Spoiler alerts if uh, you guys didn't play this game before. Oh, that was bad. I think that hit some. No, it didn't. I'm bone zoned, man. There's no butterflies. Oh, no. No. I think I gotta pay attention to where the, um... Those things are gonna be. Okay, there's one right behind me. Okay, well that's concerning, to say the least. Considering we still have to do another one unless I can hit him twice in this next section, which... Technically, I believe you can. At least, I don't think it's impossible, that's for sure. At least I don't think so. And I got hit. Oh my god. At this point, I'm just gonna have to skip ahead till I actually beat him. Thank god for the power of video editing, that's for sure. I don't know why I was waiting. This part's just the boring part, because, like, it's just a waiting game. Bosses where you have to wait constantly are just brutal. I don't know how I beat this as a kid, man. This is difficult. I know my control is kind of janky on here, because I think it's oversensitive. Wait, did we just... Did we just do that without taking a single bit of damage? Did I just... Did I become good? Did I get my second video game a win? I also gotta remember that the ice things don't actually hit you there. They're not gonna hit you if you just stay where you are. I think it's meant to, like, startle you into moving. And then if you move, you're gonna take this damage, not the actual other attack. Which is good news, so that's a thing. And that should be the last one. There we go, we actually got two, and surprisingly it didn't take any damage from that. So now we only have to hit him once more, and then we're done. Okay, this might go good. Now, I don't know if the phase technically changes because we hit him twice, or if he's designed to have three, but if you skip one... Whoa. 
We almost took damage there and got knocked off. If he does that, you instantly die. That's the issue with being too close to him. But luckily, he increases the platform again, and... Alright, so now get ready to... She... Jump, game, jump when I tell you. Oh, come on, man. Alright, so... Now we just gotta wait. And hopefully get to a butterfly, like that. That's exactly what I like to see. Something's on my analog stick, which is, uh... Proving to be a nuisance. Alright, we're back at blue health, so that that's, that's good for me. Bombs. And he's dead! You're stronger than I thought. I can't believe I underestimated you. Well, looks like your power wasn't so infinite after all. Spyro, thank you for releasing me. I will now enchant you with the power of Ice Breath. Ice Breath can be used to freeze enemies and stop them in their tracks. It can also be used to freeze small water jets or cool down hot geysers. Alright, looks like we can finally leave. This is going to be a long episode. I'm going to edit down a bunch of it, so it would probably be more like a 20-25 minute video. Oh yeah, this. I forgot all about this gimmick of the breath type, that's for sure. Yay! Also, I hate the lack of music or any other sound. My god, man, that's just annoying. I hate these, like, the pole vaulting in this game is literally the worst of Spyro's mechanics. Like, because the hitbox for them is so weird. Hey ya Hey ya Like, it's smooth, to say the least, but it's... It's just weird sometimes, you know? Also, they don't stay frozen for very long, so you do have to be pretty quick when, with when you freeze things. Also, I notice I don't slide on the poles weird anymore, like I did in that, like, in the second world. I don't know if it was just the second world, or my controls, or something, but I notice I don't slide awkwardly anymore, which is super nice. Also, this is just tedious at this point, game. You could have did anything other than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why you need to tell me how to use my darn breath powers every time I... Wait, which way do I have to go? This way. Oh, why is that so blue? Anyways, we can now teleport to the last one, which I believe is an island, if I'm not mistaken, which is where the Dark Gem Mine is. So we can now go to the Volcanic Isle, so let's go through the teleporter, and I wonder if we'll have a cutscene. We probably will, right? Spyro, I've got an idea where Red might be. I believe he has a secret underground lair somewhere on this realm. I'm going there in a while with my new gadget. Yes, I, being a mole, will dig my way down to Red's lair. Meanwhile, see if you can find a way into the volcano. Okay, so in the next episode, we're going to be going to the volcano. So yeah, this is kind of like, um a piratey type intriguing level. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, join the Patreon, join the Discord, and in the next episode, we'll be taking on the final of the worlds in this game, and hopefully it won't go as bad as, um, yeah.
you know, it just did. Bye-bye, guys. I hear a thief.